It's a leap day. And our just closes out regular season in basketball with senior night. All today on On, on the, the Air. air. I'm your host, Josh Bumbleau. And I'm your co-host, Sarah Steele. Today is a special day that only occurs every four years. But do you know why? A it leap year happens every four years and was created by Julius Caesar to fix a problem with our calendar. While our calendar uses 365 days for a year, it actually takes 365 days and about six hours to go around the sun once. So the extra six hours over four years equals one extra day. A late day. We add the day to the calendar to make up the difference, but not every year. Years that can be divided by both 100 and 400 skip leap year. It doesn't happen often, and the next time it will isn't until the year 2100. Still, there is one problem. If you were born on leap day, then you only get to celebrate your birthday every four years, like recording our jaw rule. So enjoy your extra day today, and remember if you were born on February 29th in 2000, then you're not sweet 16, but only four. Now it's time to head to our announcement set and get a look at everything going on around RHS. Ready to be an RDM next year? Or maybe you want to run this weekend in the Shamrock 5K? Well, it's all on today's announcements. Applications are now available from Ms. Scheibert or Mr. Rani for anyone interested in becoming an RHS Red Devil mentor next year. Helping welcome incoming freshmen next year and make RHS a positive place to learn. See Mr. Ronnie or Ms. Scheibin for more info. Remember that the deadline to turn in application is March 11th. It's time to get registered for the 5K, 10K walk run. It will be this Saturday here at the high school. Compete and help and raise money for the RHS BPA students and their trip to state conference. Register online for, on speedyfeet.com. And speaking of Shamrock, there will be a brief meeting today after school in room C211 for all BPA state qualifiers to discuss Shamrock assignments and finalizing state schedules. Attention early college students, there will be a planning meeting to plan a early college carnival today and Wednesday after school in room L113. Make sure to come and help plan a fun carnival. And a carnival is not the only thing being planned. Prom is just around the corner. And if you're interested in helping with decorations, please stay after school this Wednesday, March the 2nd. Students will meet in Ms. Hoffman's art room, M94, right after school to begin planning. Honors and rewards are local scholarships that are only for RHS students. If you have a 2.0 GPA or higher, you are eligible to apply. Please see Ms. Porter in the Counseling Center for an application. All applications are due tomorrow. Seniors, if you want to complete a list of scholarships available, then check out the RHS Counseling Center webpage. You can also pick up a list of, from the counselor's office. There are several new scholarships for Wayne County students, so check it out soon because the deadlines are quickly approaching. And one more announcement for seniors. It's time to think about filling out your FAFSA. RHS will host another FAFSA day on Thursday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. in the C213 of the Career Center. You and your parents can come and get helping out filling the important college information for financial aid. Don't miss it out. The deadline for the FAFSA is March 10th. That's your announcements back to you guys. Another beautiful weekend comes to a close, and that will mean things will probably go downhill for the rest of the week. Let's see how bad they'll get in the Red Devil forecast. It shouldn't be bad as last week as there doesn't look to be any accumulating snow, but it won't stay as warm as we cool off quite a bit. The rain that moved through last night will leave things cloudy today and much cooler with highs only in the mid-50s. Tonight will cool down into the mid-30s and see more clouds roll in that will bring us rain tomorrow. Tuesdays stay cool with highs in low to mid-50s as the cool down continues. We could get a little wintry mixed overnight into Wednesday as well, maybe even enough to give us a little on the ground by the morning. Overnight lows fall as far as the mid-20s, leaving us with a cold return to school on Wednesday. 
Wednesday could see highs only in the 30s, so welcome back, winter. We'll have another update then, so check back with us midweek. Basketball wraps up at home, and an RHS athlete finishes strong at state. Let's head to the Red Devil Sports Center to catch up on what's going on in sports. It was a great weekend for RHS basketball team and one RHS diver, and that's where we start. Ike Camus was in the state finals on Saturday after a third place finish last year. Ike, Ike started slow but nailed it in, on his last drive to end in second place. Congratulations to Ike and look forward to the next year and a chance for you to bring home a championship. It was senior night on Friday at the RHS basketball game and the seniors showed in a big way as the Red Devils easily dispatched the Fort Wayne Generals 56-43. Seniors Dominique Walker and Adrian Gibson each had 14 points to lead the Red Devils, who will open up in the sectional tomorrow night in Newcastle. The big night for Walker also earned him a PowItem.com Player of the Week honors for this week. It was only his fourth game back after being injured for most of the season, yet the senior poured in 14 points with two three-pointers, giving him six trays in the four games since his return and giving RHS a nice boost in offense as they head into the sectional. And finally, we want to give congratulations to our RHS gymnasts who competed in the sectional on Saturday. As a team, RHS was the highest placing area team with a fifth place finish. The Lady Red Devils also send on two individuals on this week's weekend's regional. Lindsey Griffin and Camille Golay will move on. Griffin in three events and Golay in one. Congratulations and good luck to both of them. That's sports. Back to you guys in the studio. And our final story today is about the RHS speech team who competed on Saturday in speech sectionals. RHS sends seven students on, this, on to the state meet. As we wrap up today, we want to say good luck to all the sophomores taking their I-STEP test this week. And we have a look at senior night and the RHS win on Friday night. Enjoy and have a great day.